Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. This is Angie um, Bub Mai on Instagram. Today's March 17th. I hope you're having a lovely day. It's a beautiful day here in Illinois. It's about, it's about 49 degrees out, but the sun has been shining all day. Although we did wake up to snow. It didn't stick, but we woke up to snow. So welcome to my channel. If you're new um, or if you're a subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you. Um, it's nice out, so I have a, of course, in a Snoopy um, cup, I have a little chai tea, iced chai tea latte. That's one of my favorite drinks. I've been drinking a lot more, I'm trying not to spend the money, try to make it at home. I don't have any cookies. Daylene's in charge of that. <clears throat> She's not here. Um, so sit back and let's talk some stitching. Uh, I'd like to apologize for last time. Mine, my video cut off uh, very abruptly. I apologize for that. I figured that out. I'm becoming more tech savvy. Um, I will be coming up on my first floss tube versary at the end of the month. So I'll be doing another, um, another video at the end of the month. I'm going to try to do these more frequently. But I'm um, going to do a giveaway. I don't know what it is yet, but I will come up with something. So tune in at the end of the month. And I've almost hit 400 subscribers, so if I could just find 11 more friends, I'll hit 400. So maybe I'll need to do two giveaways. Uh, let's see. I've been doing Stitch from Stash. That's been my goal this, this year. Um, only going to spend $25 a month. So far, I'm doing fabulous at that. I got my um, Lindy Stitches Penelope Posies. Um, from Keepsakes. They got that to me pretty quick. Um, I'm excited to start that. I haven't started that yet because I have a whole pile of stuff going on. Um, and I, oh, it was hard to watch. It was hard to watch. I kind of found myself not really watching very closely because I didn't want to see all the things that I couldn't buy um, with only my $25 allotment. Doesn't mean I won't be buying in the future. I hope that, I wonder how when designers hear that people are doing stitch from stash, how they feel about that. And if that like kind of makes them kind of twinge a little bit. And I've been thinking about that because I think, okay, I bought stuff last year and I don't remember what it is. And I don't, think I stitched on it. You know, the one, the one market piece that, um, I think it was the first piece that I bought because I saw, um, I saw it advertised as coming up. My husband bought it for me was, um, Let Freedom Ring by Lila Studio. And that was two years ago. And this is as far as I've gotten. It was in, it was in Stitchy Time Out and I'll explain that later. But, I, I wonder which is worse, that maybe people are buying it because they're stitching from stash, or maybe people buy it and then they don't, it gets put away and they don't stitch it because they have all this other stuff to stitch, or I don't know. Just makes me curious, makes me wonder. I, I It's going to get bought because you know stitchers, we can't, we can't not buy all the things. So um, I hope they don't panic too much because I have a long list of things that I want to buy. My husband and I are having this argument. He loves it that I'm stitching from stash and he loves it that I'm not spending um, crazy amounts of money on stitching things, but he doesn't like the methodology. He thinks if this is the only amount you're gonna spend and maybe you don't spend, like in February, I don't think I spent nearly my allotment. I think I was I think I only spent like six or seven dollars in February, so he was all excited. And I said, well, that just carries over to the next month. And he's like, well, that's a loophole. I'm like, in real life, that's what you would do, right? But he doesn't like that loophole, so we're having a fun little banter about it. Okay, so um, let's talk about my whips. So I went to get out my um, the next Sunflower Diaries. I didn't do... I did... I don't remember what I've done. January and February, because I got those finished. So I went to pull out March, and I was happily stitching along. I got the border um, to meet up the other day, and I, sorry, 
and I have the little bit of the grass going. And I was all excited about it. I'm like, oh, I might get this done in a reasonable amount of time. And then I looked and yeah, I had pulled out April. I think everybody talking about bunnies and having um, everybody stitching on bunnies that I must have seen it and just grabbed it instead, but that's okay. I'll go back and do March later, but I'm si excited for those bunnies. It's an awfully cute, it's a very cute pattern. Um, those bunnies and the carrot and um, it's chatting to a squirrel. So I'm excited and the purple little flowers. So I'm excited about that. I got some new project bags in the mail from a friend yesterday. This is from an Instagram stitch a latte, Carol. She knows my love for Snoopy and she kind of went crazy and she's practicing her um, project bag making and I sure do appreciate it. I got a big one. Um, so that was Snowflower Flower Diaries. That's a free pattern um, off of her website. And then I don't know if you guys, if you remember my January update, I had gone to our local thrift shop that benefits one of the hospitals. We have two hospitals in town and benefits a hospital. And I got a, I got a crazy, I, I made a crazy haul. It was awesome. Well, this was one of the pieces that I got by Little House Needleworks. Um, I wish it had a date on it so I knew when, when it was published. Maybe I should do my research. It doesn't have a date on it. Uh, so I'm working on that. This came with all of the flosses, all the specialty flosses. So this is as far as I've gotten. I'm so excited about it because in one night I made two borders meet up because I finished both of the borders and that was like, woohoo. This is, um, I'm doing it in the called for colors. It's um, crescent colors. So they, and that was all, it all came with it. So that's why it was part of the, like a major bonus. It was my goal this weekend to stitch on everything I had, stitch on every whip. And I thought I was doing really good. I, we had friends over for lunch today and I had to chaperone a dance last night. I um, am the advisor for our chapter of Best Buddies at my high school. Um, and so I, the other high school asked us to come have a dance with them. And so that's what I was doing last night. So I didn't get to stitch just a tiny bit last night when I got back from the dance. It was an adorable dance. They were so cute. They had so much fun. Um, love it when two rival high schools can get together and just have good fun. So I started um, for Lent. I started this St. Mother Teresa um, kit. I bought this before she was a saint, but I love Mother Teresa. And I love this kit. I'm just, that really looks like her. It really looks like her. I love the colors and the details. So this is a Jan Lynn kit. Um, and it came with the linen. Oop. Sorry. My blue thread is attached. I have my needles attached. And this is as far as I've gotten. Now, when I looked at this, I thought, oh, hey, that doesn't look too bad. It's not, you know, a couple shades of blue, a couple shades, some tans, right? Um, yeah, it has... I think I counted like 23 colors, crazy amount of colors. But I like how they have them, um, they have them coordinated. Like I drew those numbers on there, but they have a, a nice grid on there for the, uh, um, had the colors separated. I didn't have to separate them, figure out what they were. So that was kind of nice. So I'm, I'm excited about this. And then I have another Little House Needleworks that I'm working on. This is Welcome Spring. I got this last year. It was gifted to me in a prize I won from Bana, so I almost have the sheep made. Uh, 
and I'm still slowly plugging away on this heart in hand spread kindness. I was working on this yesterday and I um, I gotten a bunch of that heart I was working on and then realized that I is that upside down sorry that I messed up and all the stitches I did I had to then undo I was really bummed about that so the frog decided to come out for spring and visit me Let's see what's in this one oh I'm still working on mr. and mrs. delicious I'm taking the slow route I don't know why I'm taking the slow route another Lindy stitches um, I've just been slow at stitching this. That the confetti in the corn was slowing me down, and I don't know, I was just slow. So I've started up here. I also made a mistake um, with Mrs. Delicious's face and did her all in white because I didn't look at the pattern very closely. So that had to get frogged. Um, but it's coming along very nicely. Very excited about that. So that's where I am there. So let's talk about, oh, I have one purchase. I do, I have one purchase. I went to the antique store to look for, I decided in here, I've got two tables, because I've rearranged my room, um, that maybe in keeping with the antique, my grandma's antique sewing cabinet and my antique um, writing desk that my dad got me, that I should maybe find some antique tables. And so I went looking I didn't find anything, but I did find this tin that is cross-stitched. I don't know, I don't know, there's no, there's no markings on it to tell what came inside this tin. I don't know if it was a holiday tin with candies in it or nuts in it. There's, there's nothing on the bottom and there's nothing on the top and it didn't smell like anything inside. But I thought that was kind of cool. But otherwise, I haven't bought anything. I am waiting on, I did order those um, tags that Lindy had that go on the back of your finished pieces so you could say what's all about them. But my, my Let Freedom Ring had gone in timeout for a couple of reasons. I have to really concentrate on this. It's a big piece and I really, really have to concentrate on it. And um, school had started and that was not, that wasn't going well. The other thing was I bought this roller frame. Sorry, my hair is like driving me crazy right here. Um, I brought the roller frame. I was working on the linens and threads uh, big piece from two years ago that I don't have done. I think I'm four months in and it was hard to work on. And so I was like, Oh, you know, that roller frame, that would be, that would work. That would work, work really well. Well, I didn't measure it. I didn't map it out. I just like, I want that roller frame. And I, I like to stitch at night sitting in bed. And so I was like, I don't want the, I don't want the stand that like you could sit in a chair and do. I didn't want that. I wanted to be able to sit in bed. So I got the lap stand. So here's the lap stand. And like I said, I didn't measure. Here's, here's the piece it comes with for the lap stand. Notice it's not in there. Here is how big Let Freedom Rings. Oops. Holding this up in the air and doing this at the same time is a little coordination. So it's a lot bigger. It's a whole lot bigger. So my husband had to make me this piece. Well, this is the second piece because the first piece of wood that he bought wasn't as sturdy as we wanted to be. So I would sit in bed and stitch and then every night be putting it down on the floor and then picking it up and, um, just too much handling. We didn't, he didn't buy a strong enough piece of wood. So he had to redo it. So my apologies to the roller flame guy that my husband doctored your 
beautiful stand. Um, I found this card the other day. Uh, but I love it and I love working on it. So now that I have a new, a new, um, a new fixed stand, now I can sit and stitch on it again. And it's my goal. I don't think I'll get it done this year. I wish I could say that I could, but I don't think I'm going to, but it's a goal, but it's a goal. I sadly still have my Blackbird design piece that I did for my grandma sitting here. And I showed you all the things last in my last video that I was going to put in it. And I still haven't taken it to the framer because I, I, I'm just not happy with all my choices. I just, I'm worried that I won't, I don't have the right pieces that are evoking the memory of my grandmother like I want to. So I keep, I've kept pondering it on it and I, when my grandma passed away, I gave my mother-in-law all my grandmother's crochet needles and knitting needles. And I was thinking about those and the, and the crochet pieces that my grandma does. And I thought, you know, maybe that's, because that's what my grandma did and she did a lot of it. Maybe having a crochet needle in the frame is something that I, that I should do. And so my mother-in-law, I asked her about it. And she goes, sure, I'll send them to you. So she sent me this, these were all my grandmothers, and check these babies out. Look at how fine the hook is, or the, is that the hook you wanna call it? On this one. And something that my mother-in-law pointed out to me was on some of these, they have stamped the price. Okay, this one, it says on there, USA, what's it say? USA, 19 cents. And my mother-in-law was thinking that my grandmother had to have bought these in the 30s or the 40s. And I wanna say there was another one because there was one that was less expensive. Oh, here it is. She has two. These were stamped, oops, these were stamped 10 cents each. You can see how little this one is, how little the hook is on there. But my grandmother used, like here's one of her little tiny ones that she would use and she'd make these separate and then hook them up. And I'm guessing, I don't know if this was the right gauge thread. Could have been, could have been that she used it on this needle, but wow, 10 cents. Sorry, sorry, can you buy anything for 10 cents anymore? Probably a piece of candy. But I think I'm gonna put one of these needle, one of these crochet hooks in there. Um, and I think I'm gonna find something, a recipe, something with her handwriting in it, more than just where it says, love grandma, something a little bit, something a little bit more. So I've been cleaning here in my sewing room. You, if you see over here, get my finger pointed the right way, right up here. My husband hung up one of my cross stitches today. I've been working to slowly get more and more hung up in my room and organize it. I um, took everything out of the closet and took out the non-stitchy things and have slowly been putting things in there more accessible. So in taking all of that out of there and it coming here, then that was a big mess over here. So now I've been trying to organize all of this and I pulled out and you know, I went through I think I showed you last time I pulled out a whole bunch of patterns like oh this spring pattern I want to make that and oh I want to make that one so then I started putting things back away and I think I need to just keep them put away and take them out as I want them or write a list so that I don't keep doing this to myself I fibbed earlier I do have a little bit of haul, forgive me. I went to 
that same thrift shop. They didn't have very much this time. They had this, and I don't think I've ever seen anybody work on anything like this. So it isn't really, um, it isn't really cross stitch. It's specialty stitches in Bald Baldani, and it's got it says Witchell Imports on the back and Ackfield Manufacturing, and it has all of these specialty stitches in it. Um, and they give you like these fabulous diagrams of how to do these stitches and they're color coded for what order you do them in. And then there's more. Is that all of them? Yeah, that was all of them. Nope, 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 here's another page. So they're color coded how to make these stitches and they, and then what color? There's three colors in here and then color coded as to what goes first. I think that's really pretty. This will take like intense concentration, I think, to do. I thought that was kind of cool. And it was 75% off the ticketed price. This was $1.99. I think I walked out spending $1.36. And then I got this Precious Moments. I used to collect precious moments. Look, all their thread is all labeled and what they had left is all labeled and all bagged up. I was thinking when I bought it, this was three bucks, 70% off. I was thinking that that is the same um, precious moments that my husband got me for our first, uh, first Valentine's when we were dating. So that's why I was all, like, all excited by it. That wasn't the one. It's close. There was two kids by a tree, but that wasn't the one. So as I was cleaning in here, I'll show you how, I don't think I've shown you how I organize my, all my stash. Now I have, I've brought up now all my cross stitch, all my cross stitch is now upstairs in this room. It used to be kind of down in the basement. The magazines were all down in the basement. There was a tote of fabric and some patterns, some other patterns. Now they're all up here and they're all organized. But in here, and this thing is heavy, I'm going to have to go get another one. In this tote, I have, it's organized by theme. Maybe it didn't... Maybe it didn't have a designer, or maybe, I don't know, variety of reasons. So I have things I've got free off the internet, or um, that were legit, not like I stole things off the internet, like legit, like things I paid for off the internet, um, like off Etsy and things like that. Um, things that I just didn't exactly know where to put um, are in here. So I have holidays and snowmen and Christmas and summer, you know, all the, all the seasons, patriotic, babies. I have a file just on peanuts things because, you know, I love peanuts. Um, so that one is very heavy and full. And then my other one this other one and I can't believe how expensive these are. These are expensive. I don't understand why they're so expensive. Like $15 at Office Depot. So in here then, I have my files. And this is by designer. This one is Bent Creek. I have I, I think that like Lizzie Kate almost needs her own, her own, her own container. And I couldn't decide what to do. Like, 
all of here, like there might be big kits, but there's nothing in here with fabric and there's nothing in here that's kitted. If I had a kit, if I had something that came with the fabric, although did I put that Lizzie Kate in here? I had one Halloween pattern that came with scissors and fabric. I didn't put that in here. Those went into a different container of kitted kits. So that's how I have those organized. I always like seeing how people have their stash organized. I know Nicole has hers in binders and she's gone through her binders before. She has several binders. I just thought this would be easier to pull them in and out of. So what are my plans? I need to get something done. I feel like I've been stitching on too many things. There's too many pots in my fire and I don't know that I'm very happy with that. I've been very, like I've been out of sorts this spring, like as far as my stitching goes. I can't, like I have stitching ADD. I wonder if I caught it from Bendy because she's, she was starting all the things to finish her year for her year of new starts. And um, I just can't seem to get in the rhythm of like, okay, I'm gonna stay with this piece and I'm gonna keep going on it. I don't know why. Maybe because I need spring to come. I need spring to come really bad. I want to show you something. I think that um, I think that it was Kelly and Joan showed it. Kelly showed it on her on her uh, channel. She showed this beehive um, that somebody made that she saw. I think at Etsy. I went to Etsy. I said beehive. And when you, and you could download the pattern, it comes with the instructions and it comes with these circles. And you just get all the yellow fabric that you have and you do the circles and then you take a button and put it on top. Now my button, I'm not really, I'm gonna unbutton my button and um, I'm gonna do it again. My circles aren't good. I'm not a good circle sewer. I need to, um, I need to work on that. Um, And I need to figure out a way so that they're more standing up. Um, look on Etsy. Uh, I just googled beehive, and it and it came up like pretty quick. Uh, and then the gal made. She made a bumblebee. She made a big bumblebee out of a cinnamon tablet. So I bought a cinnamon tablet. We'll see if it comes to fruition or not. It's in my to-do list, which my to-do list is really long. So that's the end. Happy spring. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I hope you've eaten some green food. My girlfriend brought over little cupcakes with delicious cream topping on it and green sprinkles. And it was really, it was quite delicious. So um, Aaron Gobra and top of the morning to ya. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.